So our conventional uh, plastics can be replaced by uh, recycled plastics or by bio-based plastics. But a true option now in market we see is replacing plastics by fiber-based products. It can be wood, but also other types of fibers that are made by nature. Uh, and that is a very interesting development, but also a challenge from a research point of view because you want to have a fiber product with the same functionalities as a plastic. And they, they now don't have those functionalities. To give an example of a fiber-based packaging, we developed a packaging material based on the leaves of tomato. Uh, you can, tomato plants, when you grow them, they of course also uh, produce leaves and they produce this much leaves that you can pack your tomato in the same type of leaves. And we made a, a truly nice packaging of those. Leaves, they are fiber-based materials. Uh, they are resemblance to, to wood. Uh, so we use the papermaking process to uh, convert uh, the leaves into a packaging material, actually in a cardboard. Fiber-based materials are not plastics. Uh, they have uh, less uh, quality when uh, facing humidity. That's the that's main, uh, main issue. Uh, they are, have more weight. Um, so that are challenges, I would say, two main challenges. And maybe also gas barrier that we are facing now with fiber-based products that we want to overcome by doing more research and maybe also make effective use of combinations of materials. Although, I must be uh, honest, combination of materials is detrimental for recycling. Uh, so we have to take care of, uh, in that as well. So basically consumers uh, show uh, great interest in renewable materials as a whole, but uh, specifically also in bio-based materials. So that is a really positive thing. Um, but of course also, also we know consumers are really looking at pricing. So when a product is more expensive, they tend not to buy it. So that's a, that is a difficult uh, issue. The biggest challenge is to fight the dinosaurs. Uh, uh, dinosaurs want to have the situation as it is, don't want to change. And we need industry itself to change and we need government to change. So that is the biggest challenge. Looking at plastics, um, it will take time to convert uh, from fossil to bio-based. Uh, it will also take time to convert from single use to renewable, eh? uh, more, more use than, than only one time. Um, I think government can play a big role in this. Uh, what I now see is industry, especially end users, big companies that put packaging on the market, they are taking more responsibility. So I'm quite optimistic about the future but it will take time, I think, at least 20 years.